Today we're going to talk about Lumion and Twinmotion, two of the most popular rendering software in the market today. They both have great tools and features that we're going to talk about and compare. Lumion is a popular rendering software. It is designed for rendering images, panoramic pictures, and animations. The software improved a lot, and every new version is better than the previous one with a lot of new features to make the job much easier. Twinmotion is also designed for image rendering, panoramic images, and videos as well. This software has the ability to generate high-quality results in addition to virtual reality and real-time rendering features. It also can be used to collaborate with a lot of BIM and CAD modeling software. Creating and Populating Scenes and Environments Lumion is not a modeling software because you have to model assets in different software and import them or use a library of assets. It has many different assets and it offers a wide variety of trees, human characters, animals, props, lighting, and furniture. A user can change the proportion of the component, its direction, colors, but you cannot change anything about its structure. It is also possible to set them one by one or use a group option to set a group of the same components as one type. It is a great option to reduce time and effort. You can also set up an environment before you start populating the project. You have different environments like simple landscapes, forests, tropical environments, mountains, and suburban environments. These environments are editable and can be used to add more mountains or to create lakes and so on. Lumion has a wide range of materials for the interior and exterior scenes. A user can apply the materials on the objects and then modify the refraction and reflection the color of the material, scale, and even textures. It is also possible to import materials and apply them to the objects. On the other hand, Twinmotion has a lot of great features to help designers and architects in their work. One of these features is the scene graph to manage the model and control objects, and it also includes BIM information about the object. Characters in Twinmotion got much better in the new versions because they are now photoscan characters that show many fine details. The software offers 62 animated characters and 82 posted characters that look realistic with a high level of detail. There are also quick and good vegetation tools that save designers time when scattering vegetation, which is very helpful in different settings and adds a lot of details, especially in roofs and joints between two tiles. You can also change the visual appearance of fields and gardens by changing the size of the grass, dryness, and add wind effects. In addition to these objects, there is a project review note to enable users to add notes on top of the objects and insert information relative to that object like dimensions, type of the material, reference, and overall it is a very helpful option for architects and designers when they present projects to clients. A new tool that exists in Twinmotion is the X-Ray tool that allows users to apply the X-Ray effect to an object, by that the object will look transparent and it is mostly used with piping and duct work. Freedom and flexibility. Lumion offers a range of settings to use before starting the work. These settings make the workflow smoother and faster. You can activate the high quality of trees, activate the high quality of the automatic preview, add the sound, and the full screen viewing option. You can also specify the quality of the general resolution and choose the measurement units. Lumion also offers a lot of settings relative to time, sun direction, the intensity of the clouds, and both skies of the day and night are realistic when rendering. Twinmotion, on the other hand, offers a lot of settings to its users. One of the great settings that exists in the software are the ones relative to vegetation. It is well developed, especially in the latest versions, where a user can specify the age of the trees and the season, the quality of the trees, the height and the growth of grass, and it also has settings so that the user can control brightness, shadows, exposure, and white balance. Rendering and Animation Lumion has a powerful rendering engine. The more resolution you choose, the better results you will get. It offers a bunch of effects to add before rendering, like rain, snow, cloudy day effect, sunset, and so on. All of these effects can be used in exterior scenes rendering, but it offers effects for interior rendering as well. As for image resolution, Lumion offers different options to choose from such as SD, Full HD, Impression, and Large Format. 
You can also render one picture at a time or just prepare the entire scene to be rendered at once. Usually the render does not take a lot of time, only a few seconds. But for animation, it takes a lot longer, especially if you use high resolution and a lot of different scenes. Twin Motion, on the other hand, improved a lot when it comes to the quality of the renders. They added a variety of high quality vegetation that can bring your scenes to life, and even the smallest details can be visible in the render. The results are so close to reality. A user can control the lighting, the contrast, and different settings that the software offers to have a better result. It also comes with lighting features that include global illumination, and it is used to simulate different lights, the sun, and the sky for more realistic results. Another feature that Wemotion offers for cinematic rendering is the depth of field combined with lens flares that gives better results, especially in animation. Twinmotion also supports the most popular VR headsets, and it is possible to import images, panoramic pictures and videos, and even VR scenes. Industries that use Lumion and Twinmotion Basically, Lumion is used for architecture work, so it is mostly used by architects to render all types of buildings and landscape architects in big urban projects, in addition to interior designers to do interior rendering for small areas and scenes. Also, Twinmotion is used in the architecture and design work, especially for landscape architecture, urban planning, and construction. Computer Requirements and Operating System The old versions of Lumion can work on average computers, but the new ones are much more developed, and they added more quality to the renderers, which became heavier. That's why it only works on high-performing computers, and it is better to use a workstation, by the way for a better workflow and for quicker results. On the other hand, Twinmotion can work on medium performing computers and it is not a very heavy software to run, but in case you want to work on big projects, it is better to use high performing computers for better and faster results. The Learning Curve Lumion is one of the easiest rendering software that exists today on the market. Its interface looks like a video game. The features are organized, the commands and tools are direct and clear. It will take you half a day or so to know about the basic tools and how to use them, and things will improve with practice and time. Twinmotion, on the other hand, is relatively easy to use as well. It is perfect for beginners or students. The interface is simple, tools and commands don't need a lot of configuration, and it is easy to get familiar with the basic tools and improve later with time and practice. Pricing and Licensing Lumion is available only on Windows, although it is on the market since 2010 with many released versions over the years. It is not available on Mac, nor mobile applications or web-based. As for pricing, it is $14.99 US dollars per year, and it also offers a 14 days free trial to test the software. The official website of the software offers a lot of reviews, articles, tutorials, and answers about the common questions and problems that users may face. On the other hand, Twinmotion is $499 US dollars, and it has a version for Windows and Mac. It is also a very popular software, since it collaborates with a lot of modeling software like Rhino, Archicad, Revit, and it also supports multiple languages. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have something to add, you can leave it in the comments section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.